How do vaccines prevent viral infections? Vaccines play a crucial role in preventing viral infections by stimulating the immune system to recognize and eliminate specific viruses. Here is an in-depth explanation of how vaccines work. 1. Introduction to the immune system The immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to defend the body against harmful pathogens, including viruses. It consists of two main components, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. 2. Innate immune response the innate immune system is the body's first line of defense against infections. It includes physical barriers, e. skin, chemical barriers, e. stomach acid, and various cells, e. macrophages, natural killer cells that can recognize and eliminate pathogens in a general, nonspecific manner. 3. Adaptive Immune Response The adaptive immune system is a more sophisticated defense mechanism that provides long-term protection against specific pathogens. It involves specialized cells, such as B cells and T cells, that can recognize and remember specific pathogens they have encountered before. 4. Introduction to Vaccines Vaccines are biological preparations that contain weakened or inactivated forms of a virus, specific viral proteins, or genetic material, e. mRNA that encodes viral proteins. When administered, vaccines stimulate the immune system to recognize and respond to the virus, even if it is encountered in the future. 5. Types of Vaccines there are different types of vaccines, including Live attenuated vaccines, these contain weakened forms of the virus that can replicate but cause little to no disease. They closely resemble the natural infection and provide robust and long-lasting immunity. Examples include the measles, mumps, and rubella, MMRK vaccine. Inactivated vaccines, these contain killed or inactivated viruses. While they cannot replicate, they still contain viral antigens that can trigger an immune response. Examples include the polio vaccine. Subunit, recombinant, and conjugate vaccines, these contain specific viral proteins or genetic material that encodes viral proteins. They are highly purified and do not contain the whole virus. Examples include the hepatitis B vaccine. mRNA vaccines, these contain genetic material, mRNA, that encodes viral proteins. Once injected, the mRNA is taken up by cells, which then produce the viral proteins. Examples include the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. 6. Vaccine Administration and Immune Response When a vaccine is administered, it activates the immune system in a controlled manner. The viral components or genetic material in the vaccine are recognized as foreign by antigen-presenting cells, APCs, such as dendritic cells. These cells engulf the viral components and present them to T-cells, a type of adaptive immune cell. 7. T-cell response T-cells play a central role in coordinating the immune response. They can differentiate into different subsets, including helper T-cells, Th, and cytotoxic T-cells, Tc. 
Helper T cells release chemical signals, cytokines, that activate other immune cells and direct the immune response. Cytotoxic T cells directly kill infected cells. 8. B cell response. B cells are another type of adaptive immune cell that produces antibodies, which are proteins that can recognize and neutralize viruses. When B cells encounter viral antigens, they are activated and differentiate into plasma cells that produce large amounts of antibodies. These antibodies can bind to viral proteins, preventing the virus from infecting cells or marking it for destruction by other immune cells. 9. Memory Response One of the crucial aspects of vaccines is their ability to create immunological memory. After vaccination, some B and T cells become memory cells, which can persist in the body for years or even a lifetime. If the same virus is encountered again, these memory cells quickly mount a robust and specific immune response, preventing the virus from causing severe illness. In summary, vaccines work by stimulating the immune system to recognize and respond to specific viruses. They can activate both the innate and adaptive immune responses, resulting in the Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.